Hello, everybody. I'm a Professor G. H. Chen. I have spent past 20 years developing wastewater treatment technology at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. As a city surrounded by sea, Hong Kong is very special. Many people actually do know that Hong Kong has taken advantage of this natural characteristic. That is, no other city in this world has used seawater for toilet flushing in such a massive scale. I'm obsessed with all about water. When I was a boy, I lived in Jiaxing, Zhejiang province of China. My uncle was a fortune teller, and he told me, kid, your life is inseparable from water. That is why my name, Hao, containing elements of water drops. Over the years, my research team and I have made great efforts, and we finally invented and developed sunny process and has integrated with seawater toilet flushing system, making this world unique water system more effective. Conventional wastewater treatment technologies make use of microbials to convert contaminants in wastewater to carbon dioxide, thereby purifying the water. Traditionally, one cubic meter of sewage will produce around 0.8 kilogram of sludge, translating into 1,000 tons of sludge per day in Hong Kong. On the contrary, sunny process makes use of sulfur reducing bacteria, which grow slowly but decompose contaminants in wastewater faster. As a result, the quantity of sludge can be reduced by 50%. That means we can reduce sludge quantity in Hong Kong down to 500 tons per day. This new technology can save 50% of sewage treatment costs and land and reduce 35% of green gas emissions while minimizing odor and allowing detoxification. As a problem solver, we needed to preserve and remain curious and observant of the world around us. I remember in the first seven years of my research, there wasn't any breakthroughs. We seemed to do similar tasks every day, just moving switch here and there. I'm very pleased that HQST and UNESCO has signed a cooperation plan to introduce the sunny process worldwide. The first trying place is in Cuba. Many countries on the earth are running short of fresh water. For example, Middle East, India, and island countries. The main reason for water scarcity are due to overpopulation, overconsumption of water, and plus serious water pollution. We are still at the beginning of sunny process. As this technology becomes more and more mature, the trials will move towards large-scale applications. The success of water engineering projects very much depends on talent, recruitment, and expertise. I sincerely hope that in the coming five years, the usage of sunny process can be extended to the whole of Hong Kong and the coastal cities in mainland benefiting everywhere.